Dear friends, very soon you might be hearing a headline item. And that item is that there will be a cosmic visitor, a deadly cosmic visitor, which will be visiting the Earth in the month of November 2020. That cosmic visitor would be portrayed as a large rock going at thousands of kilometers per hour and just moving very close to the Earth with the potential of the Earth's gravity affecting its path and it's striking right into our planet. I'm here to tell you that when you hear that news, do not be fooled by it. That object is a small asteroid. Asteroids are small rocky object which orbit around the sun, much like the planets and the satellites. But these asteroids are leftovers from the formation days of the solar system. Most of them range about four and a half billion years ago. And although they orbit the sun around like the planets do, they are much smaller than any planet. There are a lot of asteroids in our solar system, perhaps millions or hundreds of millions. Most of them live in the main asteroid belt, a small region between the orbits of the red planet Mars and the giant Jupiter. In fact, we have studied asteroids for a very, very long time. And the current count of identified asteroids is about 992,000. Asteroids can range in size. Uh, they can be from Ceres, the largest asteroid, which is about 974 kilometers in diameter, to very small bodies, which are less than two meters across. The total mass of all the asteroids put together in our solar system is estimated to be less than the mass of the Earth's moon. Now, the new asteroid everybody is talking about, which will whiz past the Earth on the 2nd November 2020, is called 2018 VP1. It was discovered in the year 2018 by Palomar Observatory in California, USA. Now, it is estimated to come within less than 5,000 kilometers of the Earth. And because it is so close, there is a slight chance, about 0.41% or 1 in 240, that it will hit the Earth on the 2nd November 2020. That day is just the day before the US presidential elections. A space rock is classified as a potentially hazardous asteroid if the diameter of it is more than 140 meters across and if it is too close to the Earth to be bent into falling on the Earth's surface. Now, if that happens, there will be a significant damage to the Earth, its atmosphere and its surface. The asteroid which killed the dinosaurs millions of years ago was a minimum 10 kilometers in diameter. So let's come back to our current asteroid. The asteroid which will come close to Earth on the 2nd November, according to our current estimates, this is the size of a very small car, only about 2 meters in diameter. This kind of asteroid just doesn't have enough width for a large scale damage on the surface of the Earth. Earlier this week, on August the 16th, an SUV-sized asteroid did come quite close to the Earth. And it did become a near-Earth asteroid. It passed about 3,000 kilometers just above the southern part of the Indian Ocean. This object, was known as 2020 GC, was spotted by Zwicky Transient Facility, a robotic camera which scans the sky and is thought to be roughly three to six meters in diameter. Uh, this one just passed away. Its small size also meant that uh, the 2020 GC also did not pose any threat to the Earth. And if it did enter the Earth's atmosphere, it did get deflected and entered the Earth's atmosphere, it would have been burnt easily up by our atmosphere due to the force of friction. 
Asteroids the size of the 2018 VP1, which will arrive in a few months, will easily burn up in the atmosphere before it makes any impact on the ground. So although there is every chance that one day a killer asteroid might finally again crash into Earth, the current 2018 VP1 isn't definitely that asteroid. But that doesn't mean that we are not prepared for asteroids which do pose a risk. NASA and uh, many other space agencies across the world, including some militaries, are working to make us having a better chance of detecting these near-Earth objects, asteroids, and also one day finding a technology to potentially deflect them away from Earth. Now, we know that 2020 has been quite a year. But at least we don't have to worry about to add another deadly asteroid into the list of horrors in this year. At least not this one.